when we come home, trouble ain't looking for us. Why the fuck these niggas out here panic like they looking for us? Someone said right with me that day. How you home in our day? I had three best friends who was mad, the other one was just a day. My guess ain't full, that's still all the ups up with shots. Anything we wanted, we got it straight out the block. So. Every second of every day, thousands of new videos are being published on the internet. Right. Some are funny, educational, and mysterious, and others are just damn right strange. Well, I've been searching all over the internet and found some very strange and eerie ones that I'm sure will get you thinking, especially number three. City in the Sky. This piece of footage was filmed by several people in 2015 and appears to show a city in the clouds floating over Fushan in China. That's seven. That's that, like, that's heaven. You see a city in, that, that, at least, at least that's my, I don't know, maybe it's not heaven, maybe, cause that's it, like, that's, that's pretty clear. You know, that, that's pretty clear. If I was to see that right now, well not right now, it's pretty, it's dark outside, but if I was to see that during the daytime, I would've been like, yup, that's heaven. Then again, that's just me, my own, my own personal beliefs. Everybody has their own beliefs, but that's what I, my first thought, uh, that's what I would have thought of. Either that or like, there's people or things living among us, which it is. It is. Things living among us. It was also reported a few days later in Shangxi. It appears to show an array of skyscrapers drifting in the sky and only appeared for a few minutes before disappearing. Wow. Local residents were astounded by the sight of this apparent city in the sky, with many believing they had witnessed a parallel universe. Take a look. <gasps> oh! Oh! Sh oh! Shit! That's huge! And that's clear! Oh! Okay, okay. Okay, maybe it's not heaven. Maybe it is really a parallel universe or another dimension or like another time. What the fuck? Or it could be fake, but I don't... Oh my god! The incredible explanation for it is that it's an optical illusion known as a Fata Morgana. What? It's a type of mirage that distorts distant objects that can then show them up in the sky or sea. But despite this explanation, many believe it was the result of a Project Bluebeam test conducted by NASA to try and stimulate an alien invasion of Earth, or that it was the second coming of Christ through holograms. What do you think? Was it something more unexplainable, or was it simply an incredible, one-of-a-kind Fata Morgana caused by a change in temperature? Either way, it would have been an incredible thing to witness. Oh, oh my god. This next one is very odd. I was going to save it for a stranger's YouTube channel's video, but feel that's been done a lot by other channels lately. And although this isn't one video, they are all exactly the same, which is what makes it so unusual. Every few days, a guy called Benjamin Bennett uploads a video to YouTube of him sat on the floor smiling for four hours straight. He has uploaded 171 videos as of the start of 2016 and is continuing to upload a few videos per week, all of which are him sitting and smiling at the camera. He never says a word and is so dedicated to this so-called artistic project that during one session, he carried on videoing himself sitting and smiling, despite someone breaking into his flat and opening the door to check if anyone was in there. Take a look. I were to rob somebody or break into so I'm, I'm a good person but hypothetically speaking if I were to do that and I was with somebody at the time breaking in somewhere and I seen something like this I would have been like hey bruh I'm not fucking with it let's let's move on nope you don't need to see nothing there's nothing to see here he's creeping in he's creeping me the fuck out let's go let's go let's fucking go bruh what the fuck I would have, man, if I was in his situation, I would have lost all concentration, and I would have kicked it. I would have hauled ass. But that's just me. Y'all know me. I'm a bitch. <laughs>
How he could sit there whilst that person opened the door is crazy. He hasn't really said why he does this, and isn't showing any sign of stopping. But you can't help but admire his patience, and I would love to know what his average view duration is on the videos. That's on weird. On May 9th, 2015, an unusual video was uploaded to YouTube. The video's title and description was in binary code, which converted the title read death and the description you got one year less. The video contained a person wearing a plague mask, something that was worn by doctors during the plague times. It was filmed in an abandoned building and was riddled with secret messages and hidden codes. Despite the video being very eerie, it went relatively unnoticed until something strange happened. In October 2015, Johnny Kravitcher of the blog Gadgets.com received a package containing a DVD that was possibly sent from Walsall. He watched the DVD and it was the same footage that had been uploaded to YouTube a few months previously. As you can imagine, Johnny was wondering what was going on, and after writing a blog about it, the mystery and the popularity of the original video blew up. Take a look at it. Nope. No. Hell no. Nope. Nah. You good. You good. I want to return the DVD. I'm returning it. I want, I want my money back, bitch. People who were watching it, the more secrets were being spotted and deciphered, and once the Redditors got their hands on it, things got really interesting. In the video, people found that once put through an audio spectrogram, the background sounds contained images thought to show someone being tortured from a movie scene. More binary code reading you still has one year less, a few images and the text oh you're still alive. Also the words you are already dead, a skull and a series of encrypted numbers was found in the music in the DVD menu version that Johnny had been sent. In the video itself, a few strange things are going on. There are coordinates to the White House and a line of Morse code that reads red lips like 10th or kill the president if rearranged. Wow. After researching, people found the video was filmed in an abandoned sanatorium in Otwick, Poland, and didn't in fact originate from YouTube, but from the paranormal board on 4chan shortly before being published to YouTube. The person who posted it said a random girl gave it to him who said she found the DVD on a park bench. If you're confused, then you're certainly not alone, but there's a whole lot more that would make for a far too long a video. But one last thing to mention is that about three months after Johnny received the DVD, a man by the name of Parker Warner Wright stated that he had created the video. He announced that he would release another video, which he did on the 31st of December 2015, but on a different YouTube channel to the original channel that released the first video. What? Parker's channel does have the original video on there, but it was uploaded months after the first YouTube video was released. When asked why he couldn't upload it to the original channel, he said he couldn't remember the password. Parker told the reporter that he was a US citizen living in Poland, and that the original video and the second video were for an art project. He said after finishing the video in May 2015, he had left two copies of the video on discs in a subway and a park in Poland, oh. and sent one to Gadgets.com. When asked why he sent it there, he said he had a business card from them and just decided to send them a copy. This could be true, but since many have claimed that they are the original creators of the first video, and the fact that stating to kill the president doesn't really sound like an art project, who knows the truth? What do you think? Do you think Parker was behind it, or is he just trying to gain some fame from it? If he isn't behind it, then the purpose and the creator of the video still remains a mystery. No one really know what to think anymore. Creepy witch footage. Now this next piece of footage is really strange. I'm not 100% sure what exactly is going on, but it's thought to have been recorded near the Saudi Arabian border in the middle of nowhere. And although there really isn't any information on it, I think it speaks for itself. Oh. Okay, good. He's back in. Oh. Oh. Run over that bitch! You're still reversing, bitch? Man, I would have floored that shit. I'm not taking no chances, bitch. Oh, oh 
wow. It's dark as shit, too. In the middle of nowhere. It's always something going on. In the middle of nowhere. Where are you going? Where are you going, bro? Drive him the fuck over, bro. Why are you playing? See, you keep playing, he gonna fuck up with your shit. You either run him over, or you you drive the fuck off. Stop playing. That sure is creepy. I really wish there was more information on it. People have said it's some kind of witch, and sorcery and witchcraft are punishable by death in Saudi Arabia. So if it is fake, I wonder if the people who faked it would get into trouble for doing so. Probably. Apparently, the police were called and searched the area the next day, but found nothing. It can't be confirmed if it's real or a hoax, but many say the man's reaction sounds pretty genuine. And the fact he goes off-road to get away from whatever that person was doing adds to its credibility. But who knows? If it is real, then I wonder what that person was doing in the pitch black in the middle of nowhere by themselves. Horton Mine, Nevada. I can make up for the lack of information on the previous video with this one, and it's a real good one. It was caught by Frank, a mine explorer, who has explored over a hundred abandoned mines and uploaded his adventures to his YouTube channel. Now the thing to know about him and this piece of footage is that Frank is not a paranormal hunter or anything of the sort. He is a mine explorer. His passion is in exploring and documenting abandoned mines in Nevada, California and Arizona. And judging by Frank's other videos, there's no real reason to think this footage is faked in any way. It started in the summer of 2013 when Frank was exploring the abandoned 1800s Victory Mine in a mountainous area of Nevada when he spotted a borehole into the Horton Mine. After assessing the risk, he decided to proceed into the tunnel and almost immediately felt an eerie presence and cold spots. And, and that's when I would have just reversed and walked away. No thank you. No, if I feel anything and there's nobody there, it's no wind or anything, and I feel something, like a presence. I'm sure he is used to the atmosphere of abandoned mines, but this one was something different. As he went further into the tunnel, a few chains hanging from the top were moving very slightly. Wow, one chain nope. was swinging very unnaturally in comparison to the nah. rest, and for no obvious reason. Mm -mm. You good. Ho! Oh, oh. mm. <laughs> Ho! See? See? That's what I'm talking about, man. That bull the bullshit is real. The bullshit is real, bruh. Why are they swinging like that? It's something in that bitch. That's right, zoom in. I don't know why that one chain is swinging back there. Don't know if you can see that in the video or not. Yes, bit, yeah, yes. Why are you still in there? Move. Yeah, this mine definitely has a very spooky vibe to it. Oh, you think? So I'm going to head back out and check out the other stuff that's here. This is just too wet and too muddy. Um, or creepy. It's too creepy. And obviously, something is making the chains uh, swing. So Harry the fuck up and get, get out of there. there. That's very strange, but it doesn't end here, and that certainly isn't the best bit. The following year, Frank visited the same tunnel, deciding this time to go in a bit further, even though the sinister presence was still lingering. As he neared the end of the tunnel, he felt a sudden blast of cold air before hearing what sounds like voices from a radio. Take a look and listen. Okay, here's a final party shot of the end of the Horton Tunnel. And, uh, there's the, uh, ore pass with all the cascading water and, um, Fucking playing, bro. I don't know what that was, but uh, there was a sudden blast of cold air, and uh, 
I'm getting out of here. Said that last time. Frank was alone both times and has no explanation for what happened. Like I said, I don't feel he would have faked this. That's not to say it's paranormal, but it's certainly creepy and unexplained. What could have possibly been in a mine that's been abandoned for years that would have produced that sound? What do you think? I think he was straight. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed, and don't forget to leave your theories on these videos in the comments. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week for another one. Going off with that, with what he, um, the last video, he was like, what do you think? I, I'm thinking he was straight bullshitting, right? He said, it's, you know, I, I should really get going or something. Like, some, something along the lines. I was like, he's like, I should, I should really get going or maybe I should get out of here. But he was still in that bitch for a good, like, two minutes. If I'm getting out of there, I'm getting out of there. The second, you know what? No. Nah. As I'm leaving, I'm saying I'm getting out of there. Like, I'm not waiting or anything. Like, oh. okay. Say for instance. You can see the Redskins thing, right? Say for instance, this sh there's no wind or anything in here, right? Say for instance, this shit happens, right? That was enough, y'all can see it. This. That. <gasps> bruh. Bruh. I'm not. Bruh. There, 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 there's been times where during my whole life, this has been a couple of times. Like, I can just count them on my fingers. Where things happened. And I have no words, or I can't. I can't explain the shit. They like, like shit dropped or moved, and I couldn't explain it. But I, and I wasn't in no position of going. I couldn't run anywhere. But in in his case, with the, with the last guy in in the cave. He had an option to haul ass, but he didn't. Man, well, he, he did, but it took him long enough. Like, the fuck? See? See? That, 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 that's why I had to cut a lot of friends off. Because they, they bullshitting. For real. I, I don't have friends that be bullshitting. Like that, no. If I'm, if I'm gonna introduce myself, if we're, if we're, if, if, we're gonna become friends, right? If, if we're gonna become any type of friends or any, or have any relationship, I need to know you're not about that bullshit, right? Okay, like, say for instance, I, uh, I introduced myself to you, right, for the first time. I'm like, hey, my name is Gator, right? I'm a, Pretty nice, outgoing guy. Um, I'm easy going. Um, I'm always smiling. I'm always happy. You know, I like to go out. I like to have a good time. Um, I'm a very, I'm a very chill person. And uh, I don't. And I'm a bitch. So, and I'm not about any bullshit. So, if anything pop off, I'm hauling ass. You can be with me or not. You with me? Cool. You not? Sorry. That you know. That's it. It's no. It's no either. It's no either or. It's no fit. It's no what if. It's no fifty fifty. No. It's either you with me or you not. That plain and simple. You know. I'm not about to be waiting on you for nothing at all. I don't give a damn who you are. Yes, I know. I'm a savage. I guess I was born like that. But hey, keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy.